how to track Facebook ads referral traffic. Hi, my name is Cedric Padvey, and I'm the co-founder of Vertex Marketing Agency, a Facebook ad agency. And this is a question we get often, and I'm happy you decide to click and watch this video because I'll show you exactly how we do it in our agency. But before I start sharing my screen, I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page here. And the reason why you want to track referral traffic from your Facebook ads is that Facebook is a social platform and people go on Facebook to socialize with their friends and family members. So this means if your ad is a great offer, it's definitely being shared with their friends and family members. But if someone sees your ads, clicks on it, and send a URL to their friend John, and he decides to buy something or converts depending on your business and what you offer, well, Facebook Ads Manager won't track John as a conversion because he wasn't the one who clicked on your ad. But the marketing initiative that resulted in that conversion was really that Facebook ad. So here, you, you were really pausing ads that potentially are giving you more results than you would you can see in Ads Manager. And that's a big problem. So the solution for that is using UTM parameters. And it's something that you can add at the end of URL to track specific things like referral traffic. So in order to do that, you'll need Google Analytics um, and you'll need to have that installed on your website. If you don't have that on your website yet, I actually have another video showing you how to do it. And I'll add that in the link in the description. So let's get right into it. Here I am in uh, Ads Manager, and uh, that's actually a new campaign that I just launched. So if I go here, I click Edit. Um, I actually added the UTM already in my URL. So this is actually where you add it. So if I click here, so that's actually my, uh, that's the page here, vertexmarketingagency.com slash free strategy session. And then the UTM, you can see it's the thing following the URL. So. About, uh, I want to say two years ago, I used to think that a UTM is something that you actually add on the page URL. And that's, you know, I used to think that that's something that I add on my WordPress website, but it's actually not like that. And it's something as simple, I guess, line of code that you can add after the end of your URL. So that's something you can actually create and set up using a free tool that Google published. And it's the one right here. And that's actually really cool. Um, all you have to do is go here and put in your website URL. So that's just an example, but obviously you put your website URL there um, of that specific page that you're driving the traffic to. Now the campaign source, uh, that's really important, especially if you're doing anything like Facebook ads, you're also doing Google ads or LinkedIn ads. I always like to name this properly so that later on when we're in Google Analytics, we actually understand what each UTM means and what it's for, right? So here, because in this example, you know, we're talking about Facebook ads, well, the campaign source will be Facebook ad, well, just sorry, will be Facebook and then the campaign medium, that's when I like to name it. Okay, well, what are we doing on Facebook? Well, this is an ad, right? Um, let's say you wanna be putting a UTM on your Facebook page so you can track people that are clicking the link on your Facebook page and see potentially what these people are doing, but also see if uh, they're sending the you know the URL to their friends or whatever. Well, you can actually go ahead and just type page, and then later on in Google Analytics, you'll be, you'll know that this specific UTM is for page, right? It's for your Facebook page. I'm gonna put this back to ad. Now the campaign name again, that's really important that you name it properly, because then later on you'll want to know. Uh, what is this campaign about? Especially if you have more than one campaign running like we do, well, you want to potentially name it, okay, well, that's a strategy session campaign or that's the ebook campaign, right? That's just an example if you're a service-based business, but then you'll go ahead, you know, just give it a proper name. Once you've done all that, the campaign term and campaign content, those are two, two different things that you don't really need to fill up. Um, I honestly don't usually, but I mean, they are there if you want to use them. Basically what it is is you can add, you can add a term um, so here to give you an example, we can identify the paid keywords in your campaign. Um, you can also say that, okay, well, basically um, this campaign is, for, or this UTM, sorry, is for these specific creatives, right? These specific ads. So once you're done all there, it's gonna go ahead and generate a URL and that's the URL you wanna copy. And you can also click here to copy and then just put it into your ads manager on your, you know, on your ad right here. Another great thing that I like about this tool is you can actually click this button and it's probably just going to ask you to sign in and it's going to go ahead and like shorten the URL. So then you can actually copy the shorter version of the URL and that shorter version you can go here in your primary text and then add a URL in your primary text. And that's really good. A lot of advertisers do that. 
Um, I don't have a URL in my, in my ad. Um, I sometimes do, but you know, that's something I split test. So here it is. That's how you add it in your campaigns and in your ads so that you can track referral traffic, but you can also track default traffic just so you know. So now how do you actually look and take, you know, how do you actually see all this data? Well, you're going to need to go to Google Analytics. So if you don't have Google Analytics installed on your website, that's fine. Just scroll down and go in the descriptions. And then I actually have a link uh, of a video exactly like this one where I show you how to set it up on your website. Now there's also a second thing that you'll need and you'll need to have goals set up in your Google Analytics. So basically just so you know, if ever you're not too familiar with goals, you can tell Google Analytics, hey, these are the specific uh, events or actions I wanna track on my websites. So when a user, let's say, uh, clicks uh, the phone number button and that means that you know they give you a call or when they land to a specific page which is your thank you page that means that they've converted and then later on once you tell Google Analytics these sort of goals and what they are it's going to show up here and now it's, you're able to track okay well everyone that clicked and landed on that specific URL with the UTM how many of them have actually completed goals so the reason you want to do that is that you can see if your goals in here match up with the amount of conversions you have in Google, uh, in, sorry, in Ads Manager. So then you can see, are you getting referral traffic or not? So it actually doesn't reveal the name of the person, like, hey, this John Smith was the one that you know got referred to your website. It doesn't do that. But what you can see is you can see if you're even getting referral traffic because you'll see if these numbers match up. So that's really the really important and really the, the reason why you wanna have UTM in your ads, because again, if let's say I'm getting a lot of referral traffic because it's a great offer, well, potentially I'm not seeing that in the ads manager and I might be, you know, I decide, okay, well, I'm not seeing it, I'm not seeing results, I'm gonna pause my ad, when in reality, it, I am seeing results. It's just, it, you know, Facebook is having a hard time tracking them. So this is it, this is how you track it. If again, if you don't have Google set up or Google Analytics set up on your website, go ahead and go into the description of this video. And I actually have two videos, one explaining how to install Google Analytics on your website and how to create goals in Google Analytics. But that is it for this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section or you can always visit our website um, you know, and book a free strategy session with me and I'll be able to show you exactly what and how all these different things works. But if you love this video, please do like and subscribe and uh, help out uh, grow this channel. Thank you.